All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Garland here, bringing you another Never Winter video today. Uh, this was actually on the top of the list of the PlayStation 4 uh, user base of as far as questions what they had or what they needed to know. And it's going to be a very quick video on all of the keys in the game. How to obtain them, you know, where to obtain them, what they actually do. Uh, I know that sounds silly, but there, there really is a lot of keys in the game. And a lot of people are confused on what key does what. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm in the Enclave. Uh, this little dwarf here. Um, he will actually give you... Let's talk to him real quick. You can get a dungeon dust key every single day for free. Now from level 1 to 69, this key is going to just be a normal standard key. Alright? But once you turn level 70, he's actually going to give you an epic dungeon chest key. Now you can get one of these for free every day. The only problem with that key is, is that it does not stack. So if you get one of those keys every day, you have to use that key. Let's just jump over to, if you go down to the Wondrous Bazaar, this is the other place where you can get your keys from. Scroll over to the special uh, standard dungeon chest key. Uh, it's going to cost you 2500 AD per key. I have a 5% discount because of my VIP. Um, and also the epic dungeon chest key is going to be 5000 AD. I don't recommend buying either of these unless you really, really have to. But uh, I don't recommend buying either of them. So now you're asking, well, where can I get these epic dungeon chest keys other than the Wondrous Bazaar? If you can't, um, you know, get it. If you, if you can't afford the 5k AD per key, uh, you will get... An epic dungeon chest key every single day as long as you're VIP 1. And those do stack. As you can see, I have almost 200 just laying around. Um, now, I bl I, I'm not sure what level it is. All the... Uh, as far as... Oh, what am I doing here? If we take a look at the VIP... Uh, okay, so if you get up to VIP level 6, you're going to get 3. You'll end up getting three, 3 keys a day, every single day, if you're VIP 6. Um, so that's going to be your, engine, your epic dungeon chest keys and your standard uh, keys. What do these keys do? Well, they open the chest at the, at the end of a dungeon, of course. Uh, so... From level 1 to 69, the standard keys will open all of these um, dungeons that are pre-level pre 70. Uh, once you get to level 70 and the epic dungeons, are going to be specific keys and epic keys. Like the Lair of Lost Mouth actually has two chests at the end of it. Uh, one of the keys you need is a epic key, and the other key you need is a key specific for that dungeon. And that's how a lot of these are. Valandra's Tower has two, Mal Malabog's Castle, the Shores, Kessel's Retreat. All of these will have two chests. Actually, I think Temple of the Spider only has one chest. Uh, I think Cragmire only has one, Grey Wolf Den has one. Uh, Castle Never also has two. Uh, and then Demogorgon and uh, normal Demogorgon. Um, have one chest as well but there's a specific key for each so let's go over those specific keys uh, first let's jump right into the enchanted key uh, the only way you can get an enchanted key is from the Zen market uh, let's take a look over here and go down to keys and as you can see one enchanted key is 125 Zen 10 enchanted keys is 1125 and 20 enchanted keys is 2250 um, you can either get these enchanted keys by buying with Zen, or you do get one free key uh, for being an active VIP member. So you'll get one key a day for every day that you are active VIP. Uh, now since we actually looked at the Zen market, there is another Zen key. This is called the Legendary Dragon Key. Now this will open any of these uh, chests and these... Uh, maps 
So Throne of the Dwarven Gods, Prophecy of Madness, Demogorgon, Epic Demogorgon, Gorgon, uh, Lost Mouth, Shores of Tehran, uh, Tiamat, and Kessel's Retreat. So if you don't have the specific key that you need to open the chest, uh, a legendary dragon key might be able to open it for you. There's some dragon, there's some uh, uh, dungeons that the legendary dragon key does not actually work on, unfortunately. Uh, so, and you do need the other keys. Um, but as far as the legendary dragon key, now where do you get this? Well, that's another Zen item, unfortunately. So if you can't make the keys, uh, all the keys come from the campaign, by the way. We will go over that here shortly. Uh, but if you can't personally make the keys, you do have the option to go down here and get uh, legendary dragon keys. Now, these keys, as you can see, uh, 300 Zen for 500. So that's basically three three dollars uh, for five five keys. Now, depending on how many dungeons you're running, you know. Five keys might last you a while. Um, five keys could go in a matter of, you know, an hour. The problem here is is that uh, most people, especially PS4 users, they'll use their keys uh, on everything. Um, here's a little tip that you can actually open the chest, but if you don't take what's inside the chest, it's not going to use your key. So don't be afraid to have, you know, a couple of these dragon keys around just to look in the chest. If there's something good in there, then go ahead and burn the key. But if there's nothing in there, don't don't waste the key. That's one of the reasons why I have almost 200 of these dungeon keys, because I'm pretty damn stingy when it comes to actually taking the loot. Uh, if there's nothing worthwhile in the chest, I just, I, I'm not interested. Let's quickly move on through the uh, campaign keys. I only have a few of them. Uh, there's a lot more than this, but I rely on the dragon keys, uh, the legendary dragon keys. So, <clears throat> so we have the arcane dragon key. This key is specific for Lost Mouth. It will open the one chest in the Lost Mouth, and the epic dungeon key will open the other one. Uh, so I have six of these, you know, no, no big deal. Like I said, I never take anything out of there, um, but I do have six of them. Uh, the Greater Demonic Key, now this will open up chests in Throne of the Dwarven Gods, Prophecy of Madness, Demogorgon, and Epic Demogorgon. However, I wouldn't waste these Greater Demonic Keys unless you're in Epic Demogorgon. Uh, you will need a lot of these keys. If you're not making these keys, then you're going to have to rely on the Legendary Drag Keys. Uh, these keys should be used in Demogorgon when you get uh, gold overall, so you can get the two Twisted Eye Core, so you can start getting your Twisted Weapon sets. Very important, very important stuff. As soon as you can start making these keys, start pumping them out, which also coincides with the uh, lesser demonic keys. You can't get any Golden Eye Core from the uh, normal Demogorgon run. However, you know, you can still get... Uh, legendary rings from uh, normal Demogorgon um, but these these keys is what you should be using in Throne of the Dwarven Gods and Prophecy of Madness uh, so like it is something you want to do is just kind of put the the lesser ones in front of the demonic ones depending on what dungeon you're in because you don't want to be burning these keys when you should be burning these ones depending on what dungeon you're in uh, finally we do have the uh, Valendra's Tower key uh, it's the same thing with the Arcane Dragon Key. There's two chests in Valandra's Tower. This one will open the Dungeon Pacific uh, quest, whereas the Epic one will open the other chest. So let's just take a peek at the campaigns real quick, and this is how you do make all the keys. There is nothing to make an Elemental Evil. Uh, there is nothing to make in the Maze Engine. Uh, under dark is where you're going to get those lesser keys from so the uh, lesser demonic key is 150 farsis and the greater demonic key is going to be 300 uh, farsis uh, as you can see i have 9.1k or actually just going to make them they take about 20 hours each key so you can make basically one key a day so you want to uh, be working on your campaigns this is why i said campaigns are so important uh, most of, well, I think all of these are going to be actually level 70, except Tyranny of Dragons, so it's another reason that you should be grinding to level 70 as fast as you can. I've said in previous videos, that's why it's important to get to level 70. The game actually starts at level 70, guys. Um, so yeah, be grinding away. 
So this is the Underdark campaign. This is where your lesser demonic key and your greater demonic key are going to be coming from. All right, Tyranny of Dragons, which starts at like level 26 or level 28. Uh, the first two keys are going to be all the way up here. This is going to be your Mystic Dragon key. This is going to be the one for your Shores of Tehran skirmish. I just simply don't make these keys. I don't do these uh, dungeons. Uh, so that's why I don't have any. And plus, like I said, I have eight legendary dragon keys which will open up all the chests that i don't have the keys for it's another route if you don't mind paying the money for it so mystic dragon key shores of turn directly across from it is where the Ar arcane dragon key is um, that's the one for your uh lair of lost mouth as you can see all these keys do cost you know campaign currency and gold <clears throat> there's a uh one more up here that I don't have unlocked. I don't really care. This is the uh, Dragon Queen's key. This is actually going to be the one for uh, Tiamat. This will be the... You can use this key right here to open the chest in Tiamat. Uh, I believe... Um, you have to use the uh, Legendary Dragon key otherwise. That's why I said I, I'd never take anything out of Tiamat. If I happen to pull a Tiamat orb, then yeah, I will use one of my Legendary Dragon keys. But I just don't simply have the inventory room to be stockpiling all of these keys for no reason. Plus, I mean, I mean, I don't need the campaign currency here anymore, but I mean, I'm not going to waste the campaign currency for keys. I just don't care. But you guys are definitely going to want to start doing these as soon as possible if you don't buy your legendary dragon keys. Let's move down into Sharandar. So we got the Malabog's Castle key. There you go. Uh, dungeon specific key this will open the chest in the Malabog's castle I believe that's uh, all out of Sharandor now Dreadring you got the Valendra's tower key which I do have a few of these and now also they have a specific key that you can get every day that if you do the daily in dread ring which i don't do and i haven't even unlocked any of these but it's a uh, it's a gauntlet you'll be able to get a gauntlet every day which will be able to open a coffer every day uh you guys on ps4 you need every advantage you can get so i would start to you know work on these when you can but the other key the only key from dread ring is valonja's tower let's move on down to ice window uh, Icewind Dell is going to give you the Kessel's Retreat key, which will open the chest in Kessel's Retreat. And I believe that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, that's going to cover all of the keys in the game. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss any. Uh, if I did, leave me a comment below and tell me that I did. If you have any questions with the keys, I know this was kind of a, uh, a silly little guide and tutorial on keys but apparently there was some confusion because there are so many keys in the game um people didn't know you know what to do people were saying oh well i got 20 enchanted keys from being an early access uh but i can't open any chests in the dungeons well that's because the enchanted key is what you use to actually open the lock boxes in the game you know you need the epic dungeon chest keys plus the key specific to that dungeon etc so hopefully this clears up a little bit of the confusion uh, just a short video this week. Uh, I did release a uh, video earlier in the week. Uh, we're trying to build the channel, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that. Uh, and I will see you guys uh, early, early next week. Actually, I have a video planned for Monday that's going to be the uh, Summer Festival slash Saha Ticket Ball uh, conclusion and summary video. Uh, you're definitely not want to. You're not going to want to miss that video. I get a little I get a little angry in that video, a little sneak peek. <laughs> All right guys, we'll uh, catch you next week.